Good day, I'm Trey Simpkins, Group Fitness Coordinator for the Town of Hernan. Today I'm going to bring you a strength program, a full body strength program with the use of resistance bands. So we're going to need super bands, which are the big bands here, and also mini bands, which are the smaller bands here. All right, some of you may have uh, the tube with handles, that is fine. You will have to do your own modifications though to uh, to do, actually do these moves all right um some of these moves you can do with body weight only but the idea is strength uh, we are trying to uh, do a little overload so we are going to need some sort of resistance all right and the, most of us uh, don't have the use of gym equipment at home so we are resorting to bands all right so first we're going to warm up today we're going to foam roll and our movement prep all right so we're going to use this guy here First thing we're going to do, we're going to sit directly on top of the roller. You want to make sure your legs are straight out, fully extended. You're going to put your arms back behind your body and catch your body weight there. And what we're going to do, we're going to roll from about an inch below your glutes to about an inch above the back of your knee. And you're going to apply body weight and pressure down onto the back of your hamstrings and gradually roll it back and forth. All right, you're going to make I get 10 passes on each particular muscle group and then move on. So next what we're going to do, we're going to get our IT band that's on the outside of our legs from our hip to our knee. So what we're going to do, we're going to adjust our body weight and put our hip directly onto the roller and that bottom leg that you're going to work will be underneath and totally straight. We're going to take our top leg, bring it across and then we're going to drop down to one elbow. We're going to take both hands and that off foot and roll from your hip to about an inch above the side of your knee. And once again, we're gonna make 10 passes here. All right, once you've made 10 passes, you can sit back on top of your roller. We're gonna rotate over to the other side and do the same thing. So remember, you're gonna roll from your hip to about an inch above the side of your knee, back and forth. About 10 times through, and that would be perfect. So next we're going to do will be our quads. So we're going to put the roller directly in front of us. We're going to nail behind it. We're going to lay across the roller, elbows down, legs straight, and we're going to roll about three inches below your waist to about an inch above the top of your knee. Once again, we're going to make those 10 passes just like we did with everything else. All right, the last thing we're going to do is we're gonna do our groin area. So we're gonna lay flat on the ground in a prone position, elbows down. We're gonna have the roller beside us. We're gonna bring the leg on that side up. So now that your knee, your ankle is on your roller, we're gonna lift up on both elbows and your opposite toe, and then roll inside to the bent leg. And you should feel that in your groin area. Once again, we're gonna make about 10 passes and move on. You switch legs to do both. All right, so I'm already warming up, but we still gotta do some warm up in our movement prep. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're not we're gonna stretch, but we only wanna stretch cold muscles. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna kinda get the blood moving. We're gonna do a couple of jumping jacks, high knees and butt kicks. All right, so jumping jacks, feet together, hands by your side, at the same time, you're going to kick your legs out and arms up. All right, you're going to do jumping jacks for approximately a minute. You can speed it up, you can slow it down. If jumping is a little too much for your bones, you can stand in place, take one leg out at a time and switch. It's all about tempo. You want to keep your heart rate up, get the blood moving. All right, next we're going to do some high knees. So there are two ways to do this, hands, about chest high, elbows in, and then you can drive each leg up to your hands, knee it up a little bit. You can run and do that, or just stay in place, core engage, drive the knee up to your hands. And once again, tempo plays a effect, so the faster you go, the more your heart rate is going to elevate, and the quicker you're going to warm up, actually. All right, next thing will be butt kickers. For me, there's only really one pace to kind of do these. I'll stand to the side so you can see that. But you're gonna drive 
your heel up to your close to your glute as you can and back down in the actual running motion. So drive those heels up. And once again, we're gonna work this for about a minute. Take 15 seconds of rest in between each move. All right. So once we're done with that portion of the warm-up, now we're gonna move on to some more stretching. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is called the hip rocker. You're gonna take a knee and you're gonna press your waist forward, leaning your upper body back, and we're intending to stretch your quad in the front of the down leg. Hold it for a couple of seconds, relax out of it. Next, what we're gonna do is it's gonna be a double move. We're gonna straighten out the forward leg and touch that toe with the opposite hand to stretch that hamstring. All right, so the rocking will come into effect where you go from hamstring, quad, hamstring, quad. We're gonna do that about eight to 10 times each leg and switch. All right, next what we're gonna do to stretch out our groin area, we're gonna get on all fours. This is called a quad pad position. You want your wrist directly on your shoulders, your knees directly under your hips, what you're going to do, you're going to take one leg and extend it all the way out. All right? You want your opposite toe to be parallel to that opposite knee. All right? You want to, you want to make sure your toes are pointed directly straight ahead. And what we're going to do, we're going to press our hips back, trying to sit on this opposite ankle, keeping this leg straight. And you should feel that stretch from your knee to the inset of your groin here. All right. You hold that for a couple of seconds. We rock forward. Rock back, sitting on that ankle, and stretch that groin area. All right. Now, we have stretched out our lower half. To keep going, we're going to stretch up our upper body. So, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a pec stretch. So, you want to take your arm, place it on a corner of a wall, and you want your wrist to be about shoulder height. What you're going to do, you're going to keep that arm fully extended and twist your body out stretching that pectoral on that side of the fully extended arm. Hold that for a couple of seconds, and then switch. Fully extend, catch the corner, wrist should be parallel with your shoulder, twist away, really stretch and feel that pec. All right, once we've done with that, next we're gonna get our delts. We're gonna take one hand, reach it all the way high as you can, go touch the middle of your back, grab that elbow, pull and stretch, there we go, we hold out for a couple of seconds, excuse me, and release. We're gonna do both arms. That's to stretch out your shoulders and your delts. All right, now we can get into the meat of our work. Now we're gonna get into our strength portion. First thing we're gonna do is a big muscle group. It's our chest, our pectorials. We're gonna do a banded push-up. So for this banded push-up, you're gonna need your super band. What you're gonna do, you put your arm, your hands in it, palms out, thumbs down. You're gonna rotate that band back around your back. So now the top of the band is below your shoulder blades. You'll get into a traditional push-up position. We want our hands where our thumbs can actually go into the crease of our shoulders. You want your core fully engaged and tight. We're going to drop our elbows back at a 45, allowing our chest to touch the ground. Your chest and waist should travel at the same uh, rate, pressing the, the floor away. We're going to control it down, explode up, control it down. Blow it up. All right, for our reps, we're gonna complete 15 to 25 reps uh, of that movement to actually start to gain a little strength there. All right, next in the sequence, we're going to do a lat raise. So we're gonna take our super band still, and we're gonna find a good length to place our foot on the super band while keeping our hand in the band like a handle. All right, we're gonna keep this arm fully extended, and the motion I want you to take is to travel up at about a good 45, not straight out in front for a front raise or straight out to the side at 90 degrees. I want you to find a good even keel in the middle, and we're gonna drive it up, control it down, opposite hand behind your back. Keep your core engaged, your body nice and straight and erect, and we're gonna travel up, control it down. Travel up control it down. All right, with this move also, we're gonna do about 15 to 25 reps per arm. All right, so 
after we do our lat raises, next we're going to do a hip hinge. All right, for a hip hinge, I'm going to grab a little heavier resistance band, but you want to step on both ends, the front and back. Your heels should be about shoulder width apart, toes pointing straight ahead. You're going to grab both hand sides of the handle like so. We're going to tighten up our core, straighten up our midsection, and drive up. All right, so to go down, we're going to go soft knees. We drive our hips back, keeping our chest over the middle of our feet, keep sitting back. And once you feel that pull in your hamstrings, we fire up. So soft knees, hips back, drive back, keep your core engaged, fire up. All right, with this move here, the hip hands, we're going to do about 12 to 15 reps of that also. All right, then next, we're going to do tricep extensions. So I'm going to go back to a lighter super band. I'm going to grab a little section here, hold it nice and firm and tight, throw it behind my back. I'm going to grab high as I can to keep good resistance. This back hand here, the bottom hand, I'm going to keep nice and still. I'm not going to move it at all. The top hand though, I'm going to hold firm and drive that band straight up and straight back down. Drive it up and down. So in this move here, you want to make sure you keep that elbow nice and vertical. Nice and vertical. All right. So with this being said, with the tricep extensions, the banded push-ups, the lat raise, and the hip hinge, uh, going through those four movements, you want to take it about three to four sets of those, and that would be a sufficient full body uh, band strength routine. Thank you, Hernan. Keep moving.